Hey guys, how you doing? Today's video is going to be a dogfight between an F-14 Tomcat and an F-18. The F-14 is very capable of holding its own in this dogfight, and some would even argue that it's a superior aircraft. Um, that is not to say that the F-18 Hornet doesn't have some tricks up its sleeve. Uh, before we start the video guys, check out the Wild Weasel store and see if there's anything in there that you like. They're always adding new things, coming up with new designs, and it's worth mentioning that getting something off there will support the channel and the DCS server so many of us fly on. And you get something for yourself in the process of helping out the channel and the community. And remember, my viewers get 10% off with the code GROWLING10. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started with the video. We've got nails on our 12. Here we go. Spike, right on our nose. Fight's on. So we're fighting uh, Feisty here today. Um, the F-14 should be able to beat the F-18, but the only difference here is that Feisty is a very good BFM fighter. So I suspect we're going to have to fight very hard to beat him here today, even though we have the superior aircraft. And I say that in terms of like turn rate and things like that. There he goes, that's the merge. Okay, I wanted a one circle, but... He's going the other way, so what the hell, we'll just turn back. Five o'clock high. I'm keeping us uh, very high speed at this point, because we're about to climb vertical with him. Four o'clock. All right, here he comes. We're probably going to have a head-on pass. Very close to one, maybe. Four o'clock. Twelve o'clock low. And there we go. He's going vertical again. I'm gonna turn into Seven him. High. He's coming right. And I'm gonna have to put my nose on him and shoot, just so he can't hit us. High. There you go. All right. See, Whew. I knew he was gonna shoot as he came down. Six o'clock low. So one of the things that Feisty is gonna be trying to do here is uh, not turn fight me on the deck. Seven o'clock low or up here really. So he's going to constantly try to get these uh, snapshot opportunities as he uh, flies right across us. Light him up. Now I had a lot of trouble there because I climbed and uh, didn't have enough energy to really go into that climb, but it seems to have kind of worked in our advantage here as we have feisty underneath us. I might be able to get some rounds off here. I just couldn't get the pipper high enough. Okay. I'm still using uh, high rudder inputs here, and it's very hard. Six o'clock low. A lot of rudder for that. And we were in a scissor, which is not where you want to be against the Hornet. Six o'clock just high. Showed us why we don't want to be in kind of a scissor with the Hornet, because he's going to win that fight Four if you go into a scissor. I really want to be able to turn fight him rather than get into any kind of scissor fight. Five o'clock. Just going to continue the turn here. Three o'clock low. Okay, he may look like he's on my six, but it's all right. As long as I can maintain that corner speed high. and keep turning with him. Twelve o'clock low. We've been hit. Ah. Uh, the, the right wing is damaged. All right, so Feisty's not going to be. High. He's not dumb enough to play the turn fight with me. And he's going to constantly try to swim Four around and get um, snapshot opportunities as he crosses me. And here he goes, a couple of rounds. Six o'clock. We got lucky and he missed that one. He is eventually going to have to... And it's right here. Okay, here we go. So now we're on a six. So this here is not where Feisty wants to be. Alright, and so he's going to start jinking. He's extending, he's trying to gain some speed here. One of the things he knows is that the the Hornet is going to be able to slow down faster than a Tomcat. So as he jinks here and tries to gain some energy, I suspect he's going to try to um, 
reduce his altitude, or sorry, his speed very quickly and hope that we overshoot. Because he's trying to drag me to get fast right now. But I need to get fast to get close. There we go. He hit him. So yeah, he was trying to drag us and pull us closer so that he could uh, force an overshoot. I don't think he expected to get shot in the ass trying to do it. So he's giving off some smoke here. He doesn't look like he's in very good shape. He's still in this fight though. Eleven o'clock. Still very much in it. Feisty should not be underestimated. And so he's reversed his turn here. And I just can't lock him up for some reason. There's some weird stuff going on here. I'm hitting all the lock buttons. The high, low, vertical, even the PAL mode is not working for some reason. It's very strange. I've never seen this before. Could possibly be a bug, maybe. Yeah, see, I just can't get a lock, and the Pipper's doing all kinds of weird things. I should really be killing him here, but... See, like, the Pipper says it's on him, but he's not locked, so the rounds are falling short. Alright, well, he's trying to make us fast so he can do that overshoot thing again, and that's exactly what he does there. And we will Seven o'clock low! Fantastic. Nine o'clock. Two o'clock low. There he is. Uh, looks like he's pulling on over six. Five o'clock. Yep, okay. He's back to his bullshit where he tries to stay inside low. my circle. He's left. I'm too fast. Six o'clock low. Yeah, I'm way too fast. Yeah, he's inside my circle here, look at him. And he's doing a great job Four of staying there. Low. He's sticking his nose down, getting some energy, and trading it off for high AOA as he pulls across, just Three so he can get some low. rounds off. God damn it. He's going to stick, man! And I'm just doing a terrible Good job. Man. A flying corner. He's coming left. Right way too fast. Damage. Five o'clock. Whoa. All right. Great. I don't know how this plane is still flying. I just cannot get this guy off. Yeah, see, he's not fighting the fight of the, the Tomcat, and that's why he's going to win. And there's my engine shut down, so I'm out. Feisty wins this round. Congratulations to him. A well-earned victory for the Hornet. Even though I had the superior aircraft. Feisty, Feisty did a fantastic job in his BFM fight there. Well done to him. And it's time for us to go. Oof. All right. And here's Feisty. Probably going to do an inverted flare drop per usual. That's kind of his uh, signature. Invert. And there's the flares. <laughs> so predictable. <laughs> yeah, he earned it, man. That's a well-earned victory right there. Well fought. Great fight. Alright guys, here we go. This is our dogfight. Uh, me and Feisty. Uh, 
so as we saw, Feisty won the fight. Congratulations to him. He is a fantastic BFM pilot. So definitely expected victory there. So in this scenario, we, we go into a merge. And I was looking to do a one circle, but we accidentally ended up turning into a two circle. So I turned back around to correct it into a one circle. And that kind of threw off my turn geometry a little bit. In hindsight, I shouldn't have done it, but that's where we're at. So Feisty manages to come around and we end up merging pretty tight. And that's just because I don't want him to get a nose on pass at me. And here we are again. So in this situation, again, nose on with each other. What I like to do in these situations is just throw some tracers at the guy. As long as my pipper is close to him, it's going to look like I have a fire solution. So it kind of gives him something else to think about instead of concentrating on getting his reticle on me. So that's what you see a couple of rounds from me, a few rounds for him. Nobody hits anyone. Nobody was really like I didn't think that I would hit him. I just wanted to create a problem for him to think about. And I'm going to dive back down on him. There was definitely some trouble here because I was so slow. Um, wasn't a great idea to climb with the speed that I had, but I did it anyway because I knew I had to face him head on. So I'm going to go up and I'm just going to loop around. And so I'm having some trouble definitely controlling the uh, F-14 in this situation. He used rudders to uh, get it to turn in the right direction here. Feist is a little low. I'm going to come high. And now he has started to create what is known as a rolling scissor. So he came this way, I came this way. We're now in a scissor. I'm gonna roll the other way. Speed it up a little bit. And a rolling scissor is really not where I wanna be against the Hornet. A Hornet is superior than me in a rolling scissor. So I knew that I had to exit this, but I was, I was gonna try it for a bit just to see how it played out. And uh, that's how it played out. Feisty gun on my six, fired off some tracers, so I knew I lost that scissor and I needed to get out of there. And at this point, the uh, altitude is low enough that I was like, you know what, I think I might start a sustained turn fight with him. Because at that point, I can rate faster in the circle than him and I'll be able to get on his six o'clock, assuming that he takes the bait. Um, so here's Feisty on my six here. He's trying to stay inside the turn circle. Okay, notice how he's not trying to fight me in the turns as we come down. He's trying to stay inside and get um, snapshot opportunities, which he does manage there. Luckily for me, the F-14 is a big bird and can take some punishment. So I didn't really feel that at all in terms of the performance of the aircraft. And you can see he's continually doing that. He's not trying to fight my fight. He's trying to do snapshots. However, he can only do that for so long before I manage to sit on his six o'clock. Okay, now. He's extending away, trying to build some energy. He's constantly jinking around, so he's not creating a, a fire solution. For me, he's making it difficult for me to get rounds off. And right there, one of the only reasons that I do actually manage to get them, when somebody's jinking you like this, you kind of got to get right up on them if you're going to hit them, which is what I did there. Got some rounds off on him, and he's dead. Or sorry, his engine's out. He's not dead. And like at this point, he was giving off black smoke, and I'm thinking I'm in a good position here. Um, he's busted up pretty bad. He's trying to see how his plane's going to react. He's doing some turns and stuff. You can see see that little wobble. The aircraft is not exactly doing what he wants. And as he turns away, this is where I start to get that problem, which I'm not even sure it's a problem. I just never seen it before, where I could not get a lock on him, and my gun sight just wouldn't work. So I'm not. I've never seen it before, so I want to say it's a bug. But uh, I had several solutions here, where if I had a lock, I would have maybe been able to hit him. But Look at his true airspeed, he's tremendously fast at this point. And I'm much slower, so I'm inside of his turn circle. I can't get those rounds off because I can't lock them up. I can't get them to land accurately. And so this is what we want to talk about here. One of the only advantages that the Hornet has over the F-14 is the fact that the F-14 
or sorry, the, the Hornet can slow down much faster than the F-14. Feisty's well aware of this as we spoke about it before the fight. So what he does is he tries to, that's why he's going so fast. He's trying to drag me to go faster and then he's gonna, tr gonna try to pull vertical and tremendously drop his speed, which is what he does there. Boom. And he manages to almost force an overshoot. The only way I can defend against that, I mean, he's definitely forced an overshoot at this point and uh, I'm useless, I'm off his six. So he did what he wanted to do. The only thing I can do at this point is to go vertical and hope that I can slow down enough to roll back around on him. But it's just not enough. And Feisty has turned the tables. And look at how he's sitting inside of my turn circle. Because I'm too fast, man. I'm way too fast. And at this point, like, this is why there's so much to think about in the middle of a dogfight. You know, you're trying to worry about the guy in your six, but also keep your speed in the right place. Like, there's so much to be thinking about. And one of the things I'm not paying attention here is the speed. I'm too fast. And so Feisty is going to sit inside of my turn circle, and he's just going to spray until he hits me. And that's all he's trying to do. He's trying his darndest to stay inside. And as he comes around, he's trying to pull those Gs and get his AOA up so he can get some fire solutions off. I am trying to turn up my corner speed so I can rate him in the turn and get a kill here. He's constantly just trying to pull down, stay into that turn circle, bring his nose back up, high AOA, fire again. And he's just doing that again and again, hoping that he can eventually land some shots. There it is. This is a, a great example of how the Hornet should be fighting the F-14 in the sense that um, he's not playing the game of the F-14. He did for a little bit there, which is what got him hit. Um, he obviously didn't do it purposely, but he did manage to recover from it rather quickly. At this point, my aircraft's dead, so it's just flying on its own there. Okay, so well done to Feisty. Congratulations to him. That is a well-earned victory. And uh, we might as well watch his little victory run here. The inverted flare drop. Famous Feisty move. All right, so uh, that's going to be the TACV review for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you uh, at least found it entertaining, and uh, I'll see you next time.